The Black Duck baseball team had a successful season last year, finishing 15-5 and, and sharing the Northland Conference title. The Drakes will look to build on that success this spring as they hope to make a postseason run. Like many baseball teams in the area, Black Duck is sick and tired of being inside. I'm ready to get outside and play. It's kind of, everybody's getting on each other's nerves in here. <laughs> but once they get outside, expect them to hit the ground running. The Drakes return all but two players from last year's team and will use their experience to their advantage. With all that experience, it helps out with the younger kids so we can teach them the ways that we didn't really do that good when we were younger. We can teach them not to do the same mistakes we did, that we can bring it all together. The entire pitching staff returns from last year, including Ian Frenzel, the reigning conference pitcher of the year, who will be supported by a multitude of talented arms. Right now we've been working as, with as many as 10 kids on the hill, and so... Uh, not all of them are quite ready to go, but we're getting close, and uh, it'll, it'll help us as we get jammed up with all these uh, games in a week. No matter who is on the mound, they'll be supported by a defense filled with athletic players ready to clean up any mistakes. They can go out there and pitch, and they can throw strikes for the team when they know that people behind them can support them. They can catch the ball out there in the field. Everyone knows what they can do. And that's pretty helpful. The Drakes hit 367 as a team last year and will look for quality at bats to rack up the runs throughout the season. We've got a few kids that can drive the ball, but for the most part, we're just trying to make contact, put the uh, pressure on the defense to make the proper play, and then we'll see how things go from there. Black Duck will look to get outside to begin their season at their newly renovated Diamond sometime next week. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.